I was done with the tax haul, <clears throat> I, w I, I wasn't feeling well at all at that point. And um, this time, uh, the last treatment and the, and the fatigue and the crumminess, you know, lasted basically three, maybe even four weeks. Um, the nice thing about radiation is that uh, when you, before you start radiation, they give you a month off. I mean, I think they know you really need that time to start getting back to feeling like yourself again. Uh, so radiation, there's a break between um, there's a break between chemo and radiation, and I really needed it. I think in a month I started feeling a little bit like myself again, and I started actually thinking, okay, I'm back, I feel great. But uh, here and there I would catch myself um, realizing, no, I was still a little bit tired, and I still wasn't quite recuperated. So I mean, I think honestly, recuperating from chemo is something that maybe I mean could take as much as six months in general. You may feel like yourself in a month or so, but the side effects hang on for a while, you know, the, the, the toxicity I think stays with you for a lot longer than what it takes to just sort of feel better and feel like you can get up and get out again. For me, radiation was a real breeze. Um, I know that that's different for everybody, so I'm sure there are women who've had really bad experiences with radiation, but in my case, um, it wasn't too bad at all. So they did a whole bra breast, they did whole breast ir irradiation, irradiation, I think that's how you say it, um, which basically means they shot the beam across my whole body. Um, they do a really uh, good job of trying to not hit major organs. They don't just point it downward at you. They specifically uh, try to hit the area where your tumor was. And so that for me, that was also in my arm. And also just get the whole breast and get as much of that tissue as they can um, to make sure that they're killing any cells that might be remaining. So basically, chemo is done. It's, it's called systemic treatment. It goes all over your whole system just in case there's any uh, cancer um, molecules, cells, whatever, floating around in your body, that, that can go anywhere in your body and all through your blood and veins and skin and everything. And then radiation is like more pinpointed directly at that area. So and when, when you get radiation done, you have to do a, a count consultation and you have to go in and you have to um, uh, have the radiologist has to mark your body and they give you these little tattoos. I think most people have heard of those tattoos. Uh, in my case, I kind of was, was looking forward to having a little Badge of honor, I think. I know that's kind of stupid, but I thought, well, I'll be able to be able to look at these and remember what I've been through. And actually, they're very small. I hardly even notice the little pinpricks that they use to, to tattoo yourself, to tattoo you. Um, I have three little dots, one on the side, one in the middle. Um, and basically, they use those to um, make sure that you are in the exact same position for each uh, radiation treatment because um, it's very important for them not to hit your vital organs or get your lungs or get your heart and things like that. I mean, I do think it's different. I had mine on the right side, and if you're on the left side, it might be a little trickier. Um, if you have a tumor uh, in different place, maybe it's trickier. But they do their best to stop you from having any damage from the radiation to major organs. Uh, I had asked about um, different alternative radiation treatments that they do these days um, that are shorter, but the doctor basically said as much as they've seen good results with those uh, radiation techniques, they, they have not yet determined long-term um, outcomes for those radiation uh, treatment plans, the new ones that are shorter. Uh, they're good right now in short term, but they're not 100% certain that these women won't you know, get the cancer to return in 10 years or something. And at my age, um, that I should be concerned about it coming back in 10 years. I don't want it back, so I should do the proven method, the whole breast irradiation, and because they know that they get good results with that. So that's what, what I was doing. Basically, you, you, know, you do this first line-up session where they get you in the right position and the radiologist takes a look at all the information he needs and he gives that to the people who will be giving you your treatments each day. Um, he comes in on the first day that you get um, your first radiation treatment to make sure everything's set up right and to make sure all the people working with him are going to be giving you this treatment exactly the same way every day. Uh, but then that's about it. I don't. See, I didn't see him, but maybe once a week for a checkup. So you, when you're getting radiation, you'll go there every day, five days a week, for 30, 35 um, treatments. It depends on what you've been, what's been ordered. Uh, I think in my case it was 30 treatments. So you go there every day. 
Uh, you're probably waiting in the waiting room for 10 minutes, probably longer than you're spending in the radiation room. You go in the little room, you un disrobe, uh, you know, your top basically, and you put on a little, um, you know, a little coverall, and then you uh, uh, go with the radiologist and they, um, or the radiology technicians, and they, you know, ask you your name and your birth date. They want to be sure they're giving the right treatment to the right people. You go into the little room, you lay down in the position that it's been determined that they need you to lay in. Sometimes that, that's with your arm over your head. Um, sometimes um, it's probably not. Uh, in my case, it was. And then uh, you lay there, and they leave the room. It's locked off kind of a lead-lined room. And you lay there for a minute, and the machine buzzes and whirls around you. And, um, and uh, it's probably 90 seconds or two and a half minutes at tops. And uh, in my case, it moved to three different positions. It did one that was right above me, and then one that was to the side, and then one that was down. Um, I did that five days a week for five weeks. And then in the last week, um, I had something called a booster. So again, the radiologist himself comes in, sets up the booster, which is a very pinpointed, a directed beam right at the area where your tumor was. And so then they do this bo booster uh, radiation to that area, trying to make sure that they're directly hitting the area where the tumor was. Uh, like I said, I only saw the radiologist, but once a week, he was checking my skin, uh, making sure I wasn't having any odd... Um, side effects from it. Uh, my skin, what I did was put aloe on it every morning and something called calendula lotion on it every evening. Uh, the calendula lotion was recommended to me by someone else. I don't know if the aloe did the trick or the calendula did it, but either way, I didn't really have a terrible problem with my skin at all. It pinked up a little bit. And towards the end, it got pretty red, but it didn't even break the skin until after the last treatment. So I guess that's kind of common you can um, get through the whole treatment and then it's still um, it's still sort of as effective for like another week later where like I said it's affecting your skin a little bit and then I did get some skin breakage um, I have some photos here to show you uh, so you can see it got a little sore but basically nothing too painful and nothing like I couldn't wear my clothes or anything like that it was uh, pretty uh, in my case in my case pretty simple um, to get through the radiation and so you know Boy, by the end of radiation, it was September 28th. It was almost um, October. Uh, my hair was starting to come back in, although oddly about odd, oddly enough about the radiation, at one point about midway through, I looked in the mirror and, and realized I lost my eyelashes, or my eyelashes were falling out, and my eyebrows too, and I had kept them through chemo, and yet here during radiation, I was losing them. I asked the radiologist, and he said, "Yeah, that the radiation treatment was causing that." Um, uh, the other funny thing about it was, is almost as soon as I lost them, they grew back in again. So I was really only eyebrowless for about a week. Um, so that was a little bit unusual. But anyway, so radiation's done now. I've, I'm, I'm done. It's, it's the moment of truth for all cancer patients. You've been cut loose. Um, you're not seeing somebody every day. Um, you're told, okay, we're done. And you know... <laughs> fingers crossed, everything's okay. It's kind of odd. Um, people will ask you, how are you? So everything's done now. So aren't you happy? Isn't everything better? And you just, you're just not feeling that. I, I, maybe other people are. I know that there are women who, you know, celebrate that day and yay, I'm done. I'm a survivor. But for me, it just felt, it felt a little fake telling people that uh, yeah, I'm better, I'm okay, and I did, I told people, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, don't worry about me, it's all better, everything's over, um, but you know, deep down in your heart, you, you're you still very much afraid that it's not over, I mean, there's no test, there's no check, there's nothing to say, yeah, you're okay, and it won't come back, 